Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window. As you guys can see here, well, this guy's got an auto sniper and just seems to have taken out the first two uh, CTs crossing middle through the door without actually ever seeing them. So right off the bat, it's going to look like he's using kind of an, a wall hack, possibly an aimbot, and he's going to be making his way out middle. One more guy over here towards B behind these boxes out here, and let's see what he does. And he's able to take him down, but was that an aimbot? That is the question. I mean, most likely he's using everything, but we'll keep watching for now. And uh, he's watching mid to see if anyone crosses. Yes, it's looking like an aimbot to me. Alright, so he's going to be watching mid a little bit longer. One more guy is faking it, like if he wants to cross, but he's scared to cross because he knows that guy's going to shoot him through the door. And the guy's going to push through B tunnel, or all the way through B and take him down in CT spawn. It's gonna leave one guy left, Wagon, in CT spawn over to the left, and he's taken down by Delta. So, now the score is three to seven. And let's see what caused this. Maybe something happened that made this inevitable. Like, was someone on the other team cheating by chance? Iguana has three MVPs and 11 kills, but I can't say that person looks like they were cheating beyond reasonable doubt. He's gonna take down Wagon and Vortex through the door, and I think that that was a very good round, exactly what you need to do sometimes against someone who is using wall hacks and an aimbot like this with an auto sniper. You just want to make sure they get banned, do whatever it takes, throw yourselves at middle, just uh, make sure that, you know, the Overwatcher is able to detect this so that they can report it. And in this case, we definitely have this guy. Now, I do kind of like to watch these games when they're not using any kind of anti-aim. It's kind of interesting. It can be a little bit entertaining to hit these crazy nutty shots. Kind of like inspiration as a legitimate player. Like, I want to be able to hit these kind of shots. Just like timing it right through the door. That was at like 150. So at 150, I just swing my crosshair over there and shoot the door. Maybe I'll get a headshot too. Who knows? Probably not. But, you know. It's always just kind of fun to look at it and imagine what would happen if you could do this stuff and you were legitimate. Still though, Suspect's gonna make his way up catwalk. One guy, two guys long, he's gonna shoot this guy in spawn. He's gonna get shot at from behind. That was their chance, that was their opportunity. They could have taken him down, but they weren't able to capitalize. And because of that, looks like the terrorists are gonna win another round. This will be over in no time. Suspect has 25 kills, 188 damage around, and he's able to take out two more guys in middle. He's got an 81% headshot percentage. This guy's peeking very slowly. He's trying to shoot him right through the door, it looks like. So I'm going to have to say that there is a very good chance that Anchor is cheating. And did Anchor have one of the most kills? Uh, let's see. Anchor only has three, so maybe not. Maybe he just took a spam at the door. But the way that he peeked that and took a shot at the door, it's kind of how people with wall hacks tend to peek it. He's gonna make his way down here towards lower, and there is a couple terrorists. Oh, just kind of shoots at the guy behind. He locked onto the wrong guy, and it almost got him killed. And now he has to go find the last terrorist who's over at the A site. He's making his way there from catwalk as fast as he can. He's gonna pull out that 5-7. Takes some taps, his aim's kind of all over that guy's head, and he does take him down. That was a pretty short overwatch. We might do another one, just because that was so short. But either way, minor disruption, great griefing, insufficient evidence. As for aim assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance, well, I can't say that he was using a B-hop script, was, was he? I mean, I actually didn't pay attention to if he was using a B-hop script. I know. That's my my fault right there, guys. Still, though, he's going to get the permanent ban for the vision assistance, for the aim assistance, so I'm going to just say insufficient evidence just to be safe with it and make sure that they focus on the most important things. Hey, guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window. Today, we're going to be doing another Overwatch. Here you can see the suspect is in the warm-up right now. And, uh, wait, did I even need to do the intro since this one is connected to another Overwatch that we just did with a guy with an auto sniper? I don't think so. Either way, he's gonna be making his way down here towards Catwalk. And it is warm up. One guy is in sight, though. Let's see how he's able to take him down. Oh, he is able to take him down with a nice little fluke shot. 
and he's going to make his way around here and attack the CTs from this angle over here. Which can be kind of annoying just because it feels like some people just try a little bit too hard in this warm-up. Not just to get the kills, but to make sure that they're also not getting traded out as well. I guess, you know, good habits are good habits. So, might as well do it in warm-up too? Maybe? I, I don't know. It annoys me, that's all I'm saying. One guy is in middle, peeking from the doors. Suspect takes a couple shots, is not quite able to connect with him. Oh, nice headshot onto Canary right there. And he's going to be moving his way around. See if he drops down to CT spawn or if he goes back around the long way. Looks like he is going to drop down. One guy up close here. And he's not quite able to react to Macaw, who peeks him right there. He's going to pick up this AWP and pick towards middle. Just kind of holding right now, seeing if anyone's going to peek. No one is. His teammate's spamming over at long because I believe he's just working on his recoil control. And it looks like the game is live now. Pistol round, he's got this Tech 9, he spots one guy in middle, tries to back away from it. His teammate kind of blocked him a little bit there, but uh, it looks like he got away unscathed. One guy in middle, he's able to take him down with Sparrow. Two guys over here in CT spawn, and he's going to go down before he can even see the guy. He's going to pick up a scout and see if anyone crosses. Insane reactions right there. Insane reactions by not only him, but by Snake as well. He's watching the mid cross to see if anyone else crosses, and he's not able to connect with that shot. Ooh, nice fast reaction times on this guy. And it kind of looked like he aimed on the guy a little bit through the stairs there, but was not able to hit the shot. Looks like he actually tagged that guy through the door on the right side, not on the left side. So, uh, that's a little bit shady, isn't it? I mean, peeking from tunnels towards the platform, he gets flashed pretty hard. Ooh, another nade little comes in, another flash, and, uh, yeah, he's kind of making them use up all their nades. Either way, he's able to peek this guy on platform, and he's going to go down to a nice deagle headshot there. And as you guys can tell, it is looking pretty shady with him. I mean, that first guy that peeked out, he barely saw him for like a pixel. And he was able to react to it, almost getting the kill there. Peeks towards middle, and he was not set up for the kill there. He does go down to the guy picking middle. He's got an AWP now, and he shoots him through the door on the right side. Let's see what he does here. Peeks out, tries to connect, is not quite able to. One guy still picking middle. He's looking directly at him, but hey, that's not too shady, because where else would he be looking if he's going to try to pick doors? That is a little bit shady. Alright, so <laughs> he's going to make his way over here towards Long. Looks like there is one guy in sight, and he takes a shot at him right through the smoke and through the box. I don't think he realized the box was there, or else he probably wouldn't have taken that shot, because I think that's the only reason it didn't connect. By the way, he's got a scout here. He's aimed on that right side. He likes to aim on that right side, because he can tend tends to shoot them right through the doors. One guy to the right, one guy to the left here. They're holding pretty passively. Can't really connect on either of them from any angle here. That guy pushed up towards middle and he got tagged. And then both of those guys were able to tag him crossing middle. Now, that brings up another interesting thing that I've noticed. Is that it looks like another teammate on the terrorist team is also very shady. He's able to pick the cross through the smokes, shoot the guy just as fast as the suspect. So it looks like the terrorist team have at least two guys with wall hacks. Anchor and the suspect. Suspect is taking some shots at this guy on the right side. He's able to take down Canary. And of course, Anchor was also able to tag him. Let's look at the kills here. Looks like Snake is the one on top with kill. So maybe... He's also using something, it's possible, it doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying that uh, if he's got more kills than the two guys with wall hacks, then there might be something going on. Why is he not able to connect with that shot? It looked like it was dead on right there. This game can just be broken sometimes. 
Uh, the way he was also able to connect on Emu, who's down to 35 HP, one guy pushing long, the suspect's holding it, knows he's there, and he actually gets dinked by McCall. And that means that there are two CTs left, one of them goes down to Snake, who is having an incredible game with 14 kills at this point. Uh, and that is, you know, he's carrying two guys that are completely cheating by a lot. So maybe he himself is using something. Either way, that game is over, and let's go to griefing. Well, he didn't look like he was doing anything to make it so that his teammates would lose, so insufficient evidence there. Other external assistance. Uh, it didn't really look like he was using any bunny hop script or anything like that, so insufficient evidence there as well. Now, as for vision assistance, I'm going to have to say evident beyond reasonable doubt. His reactions were off the charts early on when he was picking that mid-door cross, but then he just started shooting him right through that right door. And you could see that he was definitely using a wall hack as well as one of his teammates. And then we got aim assistance. And while it's hard to tell sometimes if that was him actually like naturally flicking or not, uh, some of them did look like toggled shots. I mean, especially when he would have a scout and aim at the guy's chest and then it would just kind of flick right up to the guy's head. So I'm going to have to say evident beyond reasonable doubt. But in all honesty, it probably isn't 100% with this. And I'm probably more swayed because there is 100% with the vision assistance. Either way, this guy is getting a permanent ban for sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And have a great day.